And one of the advantages of getting your colours done is to be able to know and understand what suits you so that you can actually make fewer shopping mistakes. If you keep buying things in the wrong shade of colour that still don't suit you, that don't do anything for you, then ultimately you are wasting money on things that you're never going to wear. So whether it's a job interview, a date, parents evening, if it's not very flattering and you don't feel good in it, then actually that's going to be reflective in your image. What you don't want to see is a funny colour against your skin tone. You don't want to see any shadows underneath your chin, dark circles that are really highlighted, where you look really drained or you look yellow or you look grey. Don't assume that a glow underneath the chin is a flattering tone because actually a glow doesn't necessarily mean glowing. If you find the need that what you're going to have to do is add more colour through your makeup because you're trying to balance it out, then actually it's not really working for you. Another common mistake is actually checking the colour of your veins. What I would say is that whether you can tell if they're green or blue isn't really a reliable indicator to be able to assess if you're warmer or cooler as a skin tone. So you might be wondering how to test what kind of colours actually suit you best. Using fabric, you want to hold it underneath your chin because what you want to be doing is you want to see how it looks. I say to my clients all the time in a colour consultation, what you're actually looking for is that you're wearing the colours and not the other way around. So if it looks like the colours are wearing you, it's often not great. If you have self-diagnosed yourself or you've had a go at another method or you've done an online quiz or something like that, and what you're finding is that you've been following, if you like, the rules and still things aren't quite working and you can't quite get things to balance for you, chances are it's not quite right for you. It might be worth you considering having a professional colour analysis to be able to determine the right colours, the right tones, the right shades for you. A colour analysis isn't about being restrictive or about being prescriptive or about telling you what to wear and telling you what to do. It shouldn't be like that. What it should be is enjoyable. It should be enjoyable as a journey that you actually get to choose colours that you know flatter you, that you know make you look good. So ultimately you can feel good inside. And that's what I talk to my clients about when they come for a colour analysis consultation. So if I can help, do let me know.